Hi, I will show you how I've used uh, Cyclone 360 register yeah, to import and orient a, a point cloud to a known coordinate system. The challenge was that I didn't have black and white targets set up, so I had to do it manually and that caused a bit of uh, challenges, but I got help and solved it. And just to um, give you some info, this was for a job where I needed to build a church because next to it there was going to be new construction and a new building and I needed to create shadow maps to show how the building, the future building was going to affect the uh, shadows being cast on the church. And to give you some understanding of where we are, well, Cyclone 360, this is Google Earth, and we can zoom down to the church, which is situated in Denmark, in the town of Silkeborg. And there it is. And I just want to show you the end result. So this is the laser scan, and this is SketchUp with Scan Essentials. And I've built uh, the church from the laser scan. And what was important was the precision of the windows. So if we go back to Cyclone 360, I will import a point cloud, which is here. And I also have a coordinate system, as you can see here, or I have a, a coordinates that I measured with an RTK GPS. And those are the ones I want to reference the laser scan with. So if I import my laser scan, I will divide this into sections because it's going to take some time. I had a lot of uh, positions where I did the scan, but for simplicity, I'll only import two of the setups. And just as a Info, if you right click, you can pan around and with the mouse wheel, you can zoom in. And the way you only or the way you make sure that you only import parts of the point clouds are that um, is that you create bundles. So at the moment, there is one bundle because all the setups are connected by links. And you can see over here, there is only one bundle. If I turn it off, everything disappears. And the way I create more bundles is I break it up so I can actually zoom in and I can mark the link. Yeah, just want to show a different way by left clicking. And then I can go down at the bottom and press delete link. That creates a new bundle and we can turn off. We can turn them off separately and I'll go down and I'll delete this link pan out and now we can see that we have three bundles I'll leave that off and I'll leave those off that off and only import these two up to the or to the right you can see there is the auto black and white target detection and we'll also unmark this because that will take some time for it to well the software will be looking for the black and white targets, so I've disabled that, and then we can press import. It's going to take some time, and I will get back. So, Cyclone has imported the data, and we can press OK. It has also saved some setups I've done earlier. I'll just delete those to show you how things will look when you first get in the scan or the setups. And again, we can zoom out using the mouse wheel and pan using the right uh, mouse button. So now I want to place targets manually. And I actually had targets set on a garbage can here and here and over at, by a post here. And we'll, I will go down at the bottom, select Bundle Cloud. And I can pan around. And now I want to set a 
mark manually but I'm missing an option up here and that took me some time well I got help so the way I got it to show I can go back to the bundle I will mark a setup with the left mouse key and then right click and select show in setup cloud view and what you can see is there's now an option up here that says edit target targets I'll press that and then I have an option at the bottom say that says new virtual target I'll press that and I'll mark the corner of the garbage can let's orbit to see how exact it was it wasn't exact at all and that is the challenge so it was placed right there so in order to select it you have to mark the pick object and then you can mark it right click ah, there it is right click uh, I think it's I need to go further in because it's selecting the setup so yeah another way is that once you're in this view um, you can actually I'll just go back to show you we can right click and say show in setup cloud viewer and then we can use the rotate tool there's two options rotate orthographic and just orbit so going back we could also select not there press the bundle the bundle cloud will that work as well yeah well when i select that i don't get the option to uh, create marks so let's see side map again right click show in setup cloud viewer select orbit and oh here it is this is the garbage can and we'll zoom in it might be difficult to see i'm trying to figure out a good angle so i can see the corner i think it's that takes a bit i think the next function would be making sure that that the dots are bigger so i've selected the edit targets and then new virtual target i will hit a corner and press orbit again that looks good so that was the first and what you also need to do is i have this text file again point one is has the coordinates of uh, x and y and c this is in the coordinate system called dktm2 so i will call this mark this one selected right here smart label it one then we'll go over to the second garbage can i will press target and new virtual target now once i've selected it i can't rotate so and once i've placed it i need to go to the pick object to select it and delete it so i will orbit now i can see the corner new virtual target and we'll test that looks good i will pick the object and we'll name this smart label 2 i'll orbit back and find the last point Let's see. 
I think I selected it should be visible. Oh. I think it's that pole right there. No? Why? Ah, maybe it's, well, it's in the shadows. And is there another way to look at the bundle? So side map, yeah, okay. And bundle cloud view. Okay, that actually helps. I can see it now, but I don't have the target. Let's see if we set up cloud view. I can see it there. And let's orbit from this position. I wonder why that was black. I might never figure that out. But here we are. I can see the top and the mark is available edit or the target. I will set a new virtual target at the top and we will test it. There's even a short key for orbit. And I'll name that three. So now all the targets are labeled. And I can't see the others, but I guess I need to go back to the bundle. Yeah. So once I'm there, I can see all the targets. I can select it. Smart label two. Smart label, that is one. Oh, wait, this is smart label one. This is target nine. So that is actually smart label two. And this is target 10. And that is smart label three. So one, one, two, three. It isn't, it even indicates the smart label. So now it's time to import the coordinate system. The way to import the coordinate system is you go back to import and I will drag um, the file here. I'll select it, place it, and there's three options. So go with the control or I'll go with the control point by rule. I knew that there is, it's by the, it's called the delimiter is a tab between each of the numbers and there are four columns. So I will tell tell it that there's four columns, none rows to skip, it's in meters, it's separated by tab and it is uh, labeled with or it's a uh, numbers by label X, Y and Z position. Then you can press update preview and I can see that everything looks good. And there isn't an, an option to import as control. So what you have to do is name it. I'll name it coordinates and as soon as I press save and okay, I have the option to import. And once I pressed import, I have to press import again. And I can, I don't know if it has, it has any effect, but I can untick unmark auto black and white and then press import. And no setups were imported. Yeah, I still have the two setups. And it took me some time, but the coordinate, the three coordinates I have imported are actually hidden here or they are there. And it says one, two, three. And because I've named them, they are now, well, I can optimize the bundle. 
but it's not oriented yet. I have to right click on the bundle one and apply control. Matching point, matching targets found. And now it's oriented. If we go back into the bundle, I can optimize, but it's all okay. And now we just need to finalize. So I'll press finalize. And I have to press accept and accept. And we are in the report. And in the publish options, I will use the E57 format, which is what I'll import in SketchUp. And I'll save it to the desktop as search. And press publish. new call it search and it's publishing so this will be the file that we can import into sketchup and that was what i did and that works perfectly so once i import it into sketchup and i also import other data that is all uh, oriented according to this coordinate systems this coordinate system DKTM2, everything lines up. And once I create the shadow diagrams, things work. Thanks.